Hello everyone. Sorry, I was just finishing my banana bread, which we've got a lot of because it's still in lockdown. I hope uh, you're all well. Thank you for watching Opposite Ends with me and Elliot Steele. It's a brand new one, which is actually an old one that we never released because Elliot is still blurry, but it's all good. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you're uh, already subscribed. Thank you. There are a few more subscribers. It's going up gradually. We're aiming towards that 1,000 pound, that 1,000 person mark. So if you know any other people who might enjoy it, recommend us. We'd really enjoy that. Thank you. In this episode, we talk about whether or not we'd kill each other, what circumstances we would, what things we've killed e each in our past. We talk about Bilderberg, we talk about Lindsay Lohan, and we talk about paedophiles. So it's all classic comedy stuff. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to finish the rest of this banana bread. Bye. Yeah, that would have been a disaster. Would have been, would have been a disaster. Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the like button and um, we'll get on with the episode. This is Opposite Ends. My name's Tom Horton. I'm Elliot Steele. And let's uh, take it away. Um, who are you saying you were watching the video of? I was just watching a video of Tammy Abraham, be friend of surprise birthday. Ta you don't know who Tammy Abraham is? No, she sounds like a, like a it's, model. It's a, it's a, it's a footballer. It, she's a footballer? No, he's a footballer. Called Tammy? Tammy, Tammy Abraham. Uh, Chelsea, uh, uh, strike for Chelsea. Why do, what, what, How would you spell that? T-A-M-M-Y, Tammy. What, Tammy, yeah. yeah. You can what? see why. Yeah, I, think, I get where you're coming Tammy from. Abraham sounds like a sort of American history themed, like Lincoln. She's like, I remember just a stripper with like a top hat. Abolishes slavery well, and then takes the clothes off. <laughs> it's a hell of a start, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she comes in on chains and then breaks free on the <laughs> If you if you could have like that'd be a good service to start, wouldn't it? Like a historical character stripper service. Mm. So you have to have like a stripper name and then so you'd have like uh, you know Candy Churchill. Ooh. Candy Churchill would Candy she'd walk cigar. in with a big cigar. When she shoves up her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, fight Very crude. On, fight him on the beach. <laughs> We're in the field of human conflict. <laughs> Go on, well, what what um <coughs> you gotta do it, you gotta do a stripper. <laughs> Are you alright mate? Yeah, I'm just it, it's as the seasons change, I come ill. <laughs> <clears throat> so it just affects my chest. What um, what about like um, Destiny, Destiny Hitler? <laughs> That's too much. Annabelle Frank. Annabelle Frank. Annabelle Frank. Ooh. Ooh. Annabelle Frank sounds hot. She comes I think out. she comes down from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> someone who was actually called Candy. Really? Mm. That's the end of that story. Good, it's great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll keep that one in. <laughs> Fascinating, Elliot. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's as far as that story. That, <laughs> um, that sort of nicely brings us on to our, uh, our question of the, of the, of the episode. Look, how are you gonna segue into this? In what circumstances would you two kill each other? Just if the conversation dries up that badly, then like, you're going. Who's it? Uh, who's it by? What's, where, um, where's he gone? Uh, it's um, uh, what's in a name? No, hang on. It's what's insta name. What's insta name? What? But it's like a play on ah. what's in a name. What's insta name? Ah, very clever. Um, yeah. What circumstances would you kill each other? So each other, so I'm assuming you mean like rather than like mutual like, let's go out together. Like a suicide pack? Yeah, I'm assuming that's not what he means. Like you thumb and lose, just drive off a cliff. Yeah. 
Well, you know, if we do, if we do another, like imagine, imagine if Elmer and Louise are at the end of it. I can't remember which one drives off, uh, but imagine if the other one she just pelts the toilet. She's like, both of them do. Yeah, I know they both do, but the one who was steering and the oh. other, imagine the other one just went. Willie went... drivers. <laughs> That is a film that's really, they really left themselves open for that, didn't they? They did, yeah. They made this like big feminist film. It's a great film, it's good. but then just left every bloke to go, we're yeah. drives. <laughs> they really... Well, yeah, all of the cars, that uh, choo 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 bang bang, correct, because Potts, man driver. Herbie, man driver. Thelma Louise, straight off a cliff. Herbie never had a man driver. No, in fact, the whole point of Herbie is he doesn't have a driver, isn't it? Well, I thought Lindsay Lohan was the driver of Herbie. Not in the original Herbie. Okay, well, in the Herbie, when I was a kid, it was different, the lower yeah, Different generation. I wouldn't let her get behind the wheel, though, if I was in a car, Jesus no. Christ. She's gone off the rails. Yeah, I had a mate who was, um, oh, no, this is about to get done for defamation. Go on. I'd, uh, I knew someone who was, uh, knew someone that was an assistant to her, like, was in the business and was like, and was, well, she was in a West End London show. And what did she allegedly get up to? All sorts. Yeah, like I... And not the licorice ones. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I thought... I've heard she converted to Islam. She did? Yeah. She did? So I was like, oh, she sorted herself out. Converted to Islam. Yeah. Bit of a left field move. Didn't really see it coming, but all right. Yeah, fine. You know, and then... uh, Hey, there's nothing wrong with Islam. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not saying... I was just saying if I... Religion of peace. Of all the people I thought who would convert to Islam. I didn't have Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, the Freaky Friday girl is yeah. not. Yeah, it's now, it's now. <laughs> Preaching the word of Allah. <laughs> is, there, is there a day, is there a day in the, um, in the um, Islam cal- Muslim calendar? Is, like, is Sunday's uh, relig- like a proper religious one? Is there a particular day of the week? I think they just do it every day. Yeah, every day. They just, that's where they do I was trying Trump. to do like a Freaky Friday oh. on to... I think that's where they trump uh, Christianity almost, is they have a little bit of like, oh yeah, well, we pray five times a day, you got, we got, you know, mosque five times a day, and you yeah. go to church once a week. Christianity is the binge culture of religion, isn't it? Mm. Just all on a Sunday, everything yeah. happens. Christianity is just lame, that's the problem with Christianity, it's just a bit lame. There's also, just trying to get us back onto the um, subject. Sorry, yeah, of us killing each other. Um, um, if uh, I don't think because religion is obviously a, a big reason why people kill each other yes I don't think there's any risk of either of us turning religious no no it wouldn't, it wouldn't be religious reasons so, it, so, but what if one of us was bit by a zombie and we change religions no but I mean it, like if you got bit by a zombie imagine if that's all the zombies did but it bite you now I'm Mormon yeah <laughs> you just like oh no I've got to convert like, oh my god um, no, watch out there's a bunch of Scientology zombies <laughs> over there oh that's it we, we haven't we haven't quite got the the money coming in off YouTube yet to take on Scientology one day we will yeah that will be day. Right. once we hit once we hit 10,000 subscribers yeah we'll do an opposite ends all about Scientology that's what Patreon's like though and sign up to our, the Patreon if if if, uh, if, you, if you can. But basically, you basically you pay more money, and the more money you pay, the the, the higher tier you get oh my to. God, that is, that is which is literally Scientology. Scientology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. so Patreon rang me up to talk about it, and I went. They were really explaining it. I went, well, like Scientology, and they were like, oh yeah, we haven't really thought about that. I was like, yeah, it's exactly. It's Tom Cruise going to be the end of this. And um, I was thinking of setting up a Patreon and just making my Patreon ten million dollars, right? And you, you, you pay that, I'll kill, I'll kill someone. <laughs> I'll kill someone. You give me $10 million, or 10 million, 10 million quid, I will kill someone for you. I, I feel you like... Give, you get to decide who as well. Well, there you go. The circumstances we might kill each other. If you, if you pay $10,000 to his yeah, Patreon... I, and you put Tom, I'll do it. I, wait, I feel awful. <laughs> I feel like you get found out quite easily. Oh, uh, yeah, but what's what? You're going to do 18 years in prison here? So who are the suspects? Well, there's, you know, um, a couple of friends who sort of always said that he was a lovely guy. There's his family who loved him. Oh, there's that guy he does opposite yeah. ends with. They did that video that he said, and he has been, who's just been given 10 million pounds. Yeah. And he also live streamed it. <laughs> From what? Yeah, yeah. From his Twitch channel. <laughs> I think the, the circumstances I'd kill you are probably, they're all the... Um, the, the circumstances I'd kill anyone. What? Well, you know, if you were, if you were trying to 
kill my family or so you know that's okay, a, yeah, that's do you know what I mean? All, the, all sort of the, the usual, oh no, they're, I'm going to kill them before I thought it was just something you'd given a lot of thought of. Like, I was like, oh, you know, all the usual things, like, you know, like. Have you, have not, you, have you ever killed anything? Uh, bugs. Bugs? Yeah, I've killed bugs. Um, I once, like, got a spider in a tic tac box and I covered it in lighter fluid and set it alight when I was a kid. I once set, uh, burned down an ant's nest as well when I was a kid. Burning down an ant's nest, weirdly, although that's genocide, seems a lot less violent than the. Yeah, oh, <laughs> than the... I was a messed up kid. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely sort of the uh, ticks onto serial killer level Jeffrey Dahmer esque. Oh no, but I think you've got to kill proper animals for that. Yeah, it's got to be. Uh... It's got to be something that's cute. Killing the sp- spiders and ants don't count. They're, they're, Dahmer doesn't. Mm. You kill a cat. That's like, whoa, man, that's serious. Yeah, they go, there's like a leap from like bugs and stuff to then smaller animals, but then anything with eyebrows, yeah. they say. Because anything that has a sort of a, a relatable face, it's why no one really cares that much about fish. Because mm. they're all sort of side eyed, no eyebrow. They don't look, it doesn't look like yeah. you can't really. Um, be empathic, empathic. By the way, this was when I was like seven years old. I wasn't like, I just poured vodka and sparklers down an ant's nest. And it just went, Yeah, he doesn't still, occasionally when we're out, he just goes into the I, corner I, of a I, smoking I, I, area. I, Ellie, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> purifying the ants. <laughs> like, I, come back. I'm sending them all to heaven. It's Candy's birthday, Ooh. mate. Come on, come back. <laughs> I bet you've killed a lot of things. I've got a few. Yeah, I bet you've. Uh... Yeah. You're I've... you're one degree of separation away, I reckon, from one of those parties where you know they all like eat an orphan. Oh, you mean like the sort of secret um, yeah, eyes wide shut Bilderberg yeah, parties? Yeah. Well, you know my dad's done speeches for Bilderberg. Okay. Uh, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what his first speech he did was for him? It was he addressed the Bilderberg guys, and his, it was um, the West's response to, to Trump, and what you know, sort of the the, sense, the phenomenon that is Trump getting in power. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what happened? And he was like, well, we we flew into the side of a volcano, and then we were like, oh, shut up. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> very funny. And um, it's a weird thing actually chatting to him about sort of how high up the echelons sort of secrets and stuff you get and he said the more you do the more you realise that actually it's run by normal people who are just trying to make it all work it's, it's more but then he a, would say that yeah, wouldn't he yeah. it's more of just I bet it's more of just a networking thing because yeah. I've always thought this when people are you know the Illuminati it's like if there is an Illuminati they, it, it won't let you know you some guy on YouTube isn't going to figure it out because I used to be a big conspiracy theorist. And with conspiracy, there's so much like confirmation bias and so much cognitive dissonance. Where so, I'll believe in like a, 9-11 was orchestrated by the American government. Like that's the famous one. Mm-hmm. Well, and you go, well if you, you watch the, there's this engineer who comes out and says that's impossible for the building to collapse like this. But then there's a thousand other engineers who go, no that's totally plausible. That yeah, that's right. how that would happen. And then, there was an air crash. It just takes one person to say it and they latch onto that. And then, yeah, and then there was like a air crash investigation guy who was just like, look, weird things happen in plane crashes all the time. It's always really weird. Yeah. And we How many times know. have you simulated that yeah, to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're like, right. we don't know. Like, we don't know until afterwards why these things happen. Yeah. So we, we're just not going to know some of the things. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I, I used to like, when I started seeing more things like that, I was like, I've got to be honest with myself. I think I more want it to be true because it means someone's in control. Yeah, right. Uh, someone. People. People behind. always want to be. Like, they always want there to be more than just there is. Mm. That's why things like the Loch Ness monster and Bigfoot exist because people always want it to be. Yeah, it gives you like some exciting meaning that you're going to be the person who discovers Bigfoot. Yeah, exactly. Imagine you were the person who found Bigfoot. I wouldn't. Care. I, I tried to look for Bigfoot. What? When I was younger. Where? Oh, just like the woods next to my house. It, You're a moron. There's nowhere near the hill. It's, no, it's North America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't try very hard. But, well, up for a day, I tried really hard. <laughs> but he wasn't there. No, of course he wasn't. <laughs> and even if you did find him, what, would, like, you, what would you have done? Well, I'd seen Harry and the Hendersons, the film. So I was assuming... Harry and the Hendersons. 
We should do like a, a thing on the channel where whenever I say a reference that you don't get or you say a reference that I don't get, yeah. we need to like... Have a ding or something. Have a ding. Yeah. There's one. Um, Harry and the Hendersons is a film, uh, probably 90s, maybe late 80s, that um, basically it's, it's Bigfoot, a Sasquatch, who the Henderson family find on like a, an outing, a family outing, and he comes back and he lives with them. So it's like E.T. And they call him... Yeah, it's a bit like E.T. So it's E.T. It's E.T. E. with a Sasquatch, yeah. So someone at, someone at one studio went, hey, they, they had Universal, get, yeah, you're get right. an E.T. film now. And yeah. someone went, what if we do the same film but with Bigfoot? Yeah, because at the end, he I then like goes it. back to the jungle and you see all of his Sasquatch. Like, is that, so it's exactly like the film. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Shattered my bloody existence. <laughs> So your childhood was based around a rip-off of E.T. Well, by... Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to go back to killing an animals. Okay, yeah, sorry, you killed... You. What a weird thing to say. Yeah. We need to... Um, I've... So I've, um, I've... I've... I've shot stuff. What, what, what's the biggest animal you've shot? Nothing, a bit like a, a pheasant. I once watched a pheasant get hit by a car and it was the single funniest thing, bit of slapstick I've ever seen. <laughs> Was it like just the head? Oh my god, yeah, so literally, like on the motorway, my girlfriend was like, it's screaming because there was a pheasant that just ran across the motorway because they're really dumb. Yeah, they are dumb. They're really dumb they're animals. Dumb. And it just ran across the motorway and like people were swerving and then one guy just went, fucking putting my life in danger for a pheasant. Yeah. And just went straight in it. And you, I just you shouldn't, you're just, not meant to slow down. Yeah. If something jumps out of you, you meant, you, if you slow down, it's more dangerous. Yeah. Right? You're meant to plow so, uh, so, but like all we saw in the window was the feathers. So none of the gore, <laughs> but just the, just the like the buff, which I thought was very funny. Yeah, it's very funny. My girlfriend didn't find it funny. Can you imagine if you looked in the rearview mirror and you're just there like a magician's yeah. top hat? <laughs> um, so I think two things. Like, so one, I got offered to go shooting. I'd never been shooting before, and I had this sort of morbid cr curiosity with it. Um, morally, I don't know where you, you stand on it, but yeah um, I eat meat so I well, think if I I think if I start going, well, how dare people? Isn't yeah, it? and also these yeah, pheasants really were so. eaten. So there is that. But the first one I ever killed, I didn't actually kill it outright, because you might like I didn't shoot it then. I shot it, I clipped it, and it fell into a pond and drowned. It's not really funny, am I? Yeah, no. Fine, so it was there, and then the dog had to go in and get it, and it was sort of half drowning, half being bitten to death. Oh my god. So it was the most sort of like How old were you? Oh, uh uh T uh, no, twenties? Jesus. Know? Yeah, and then what they do is they bring it over to you and then they dip their thumb in the blood of it and do it. That's weirdly you. satanic. They symbiote. Very weird. They symbiote, yeah. Yeah. Symbiote. yeah. And, uh, which is a bit like, yeah, it's a bit culty, a bit weird. It's a bit like, but I was like, oh, I'm part of a club. Yeah, that's a little bit like, hey, later on we're all gonna, we're gonna dress up as like, as pheasants. <laughs> yeah. Like, and jerk each other off. Yeah, it's something. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's something always that I, I find that a little bit like, this, this is the thing that I've always thought like, <laughs> from a conversation I had with another comedian friend of ours about cults. So you know there's like, you know there's like, uh, always been like sex rings in the upper echelons, not even the uh, upper echelons of society, but in like show business, right? Well, a comedian friend of mine got a Nando's black card. And I went, how much further do you have to get until you get the card where they let you become into the paedophile <laughs> Like what level? No, I think the Nando's black card's beyond it. I think that no, comes I, after. No, but I, mean, what <laughs> I think that's way more sort of. Ooh. But I was going like, is it, what level does someone tap you on the shoulder and go, hey, you're now famous enough that you can come? And it's a card that's a little smaller than all the other cards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what level do you get? And they just go, hey, you know, you're going to bang a couple of kids now. The, yeah, the, they've got to sort of like test out the water, surely. Yeah. Imagine you turn up to that party and you just turn up with like a six pack and you were like, oh, I'm not <laughs> <All right>, um, <laughs> Two for one Pringles. Woo, uh, I didn't I, uh, <laughs> I'd kill you if you were a member of one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd do that. Oh, I'd, you'd kill me for that. If you were a paedophile. Yeah, that's fair enough, isn't it? It's fair enough. If you were an active paedophile. Because I think, like, this is another, this is now, oh, God, this is another, this is, oh. We're gonna start this. I do think if you have, it is a mental condition that you've got if you're a paedophile. And I think if you are someone who sort of is aware of it and then sort of tries to get help and doesn't act on it, I actually feel sorry for you. 
But if you are someone who is a predator, then I think that's inexcusable. Yeah, it's. it's Does that make sense? Like, yeah. Because you can't help, like, if someone just naturally goes, I can't help it. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Mark. Am I? Just kids are sexy, man. That's all you got. <laughs> I'm, place, 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 I'm ruining the wholesomeness of opposite ends. It's <laughs> starting from a wholesome beginning. It always and, is. Dark. And I'm, I'm, I yeah, but I kind of leave it there. Yeah, you do. I brought up the, I brought up the children. Yeah, you did. But you, but this guy asked why would we, why would we kill each other? And I think, I think pedophilia is a fair reason to kill someone. Mm-hmm. I think that's fair enough. Do you ever watch pedo hunters? I did uh, watch it a few times. I love it because it's 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 depressing in every. I I love it. I I took acid one time, and uh, I really it broke down why to my girlfriend why I, I think it is some of the most entertainingly depressing stuff you will see because every bit of the involvement in it is awful. Yeah, like yeah. from the person being called. From the people catching them, yeah, yeah. there's something weird about that. There's something like odd about. Well, it's vigilantly. This is what I've decided to do with my day. Yeah, like yeah, and, not go for the proper and, but authorities. Then, but then sometimes you'll down. just hit even the comment section. It's just a bunch of people applauding themselves for not being paedophiles. So they're yeah. just like, and they'll just be like, yeah, yeah. bring back hanging. <laughs> That's all the comments are. And sometimes you just go, guys, can you stop being racist in the comments, please? <laughs> I, 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 did, I watched a video recently though because you know, I'm doing that. You know, I'm doing that other uh, players called uh, Ignorance is this. Yes. So as I was researching for it. Um, I came up with this, this term called um, maps. Have you heard what a map is? So it's a minority uh, attracted person, uh, a minor, sorry, a minor attracted person. And this is the new word that paedophiles are trying to label themselves. I'm not, I'm not a paedophile. I'm a map. I'm a minor attracted yeah, person. And they're trying to now label it as if you're, you're making me a victim. They're trying to become part of the LGBT culture. So, and it's like. I was gonna. I'll I was, do another video on that. I was gonna do. If I want, I'm not sure I, I want to. I was gonna do. Uh, I was once gonna do a bit about that, about that thing, about like one of the, the the greatest privilege of being a straight white man is gonna be that I don't have a flag for anyone to attach themselves to. Like I don't have. I'm just a straight white guy. We don't have a well, flag. Cis. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just we just exist. You know what I mean? We we don't have like a straight. But we're white. cis. Oh, that's, what that's what we're called. Okay, yeah. We don't have a flag. Do you know what I mean? We don't need a flag. We've got right, a flag. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to fight like the LGBT community has a flag. I think we do have a because I think we don't need to not we don't need a flag. It's a Union Jack! <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what one guy it's George's would. cross, mate! <laughs> but that, that's a fight that uh <coughs> sorry. That's a fight for the LGBT community that I'm staying out of. It's all met, yeah, it's just... <coughs> God. Yeah, you can't call yourself a minor attraction. Hey, I have a joke about it. I have a bit about that. About in, um... Like, a, a bit about uh, my uh, my racist granddad. Like, having a granddad who's racist. And I'm just like, oh, that was just... Uh, at an age of 16, I just realised that's what he is. He's just racist because back in his day, that was fine. And then I go, but what's my one going to be? What's my thing in years to come? where I'm going to ruin like my kids' day because they're going to realise that I'm not quite woke enough now. I've, li- I'm, I've lived a bit too long. And I think my one's going to be, I'm just going to be sat around the Christmas dinner table and we're just, as we're about to tuck into our turkey substitute, I'm going to go, we used to call them paedophiles back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like a bit. And that's now coming to reality. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered right. I had that bit. Oh, good. But that's but, well, but the, now they're an actual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Map, the bit I go, map as well. I, yeah. I, I go. I, they go. No, granddad. They're called age identi- age attraction identifiers. No, yeah, I know. right. But that's that's one of those things where I think like liberalism goes a bit too like far. With I think it's worth saying that no one is going. Yeah, okay. Let's take this seriously. I think people, like, oh, I well, think people will. I think there will be a lot of paedophiles who are taking it seriously, but I don't think it's. No. Do you know, no sort of feminist white women, which is what, yeah, that's the ones you want to get on board. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not going, do you know what? Yeah, this is a minority group. I bet they will. I guarantee they will. 
I guarantee it will cause a rift in some. If that, if the world gets to that stage, then shall we agree to kill each other? Yes. If the world gets to that point, suicide pact. Deal. If there is, if, if there is a point, if there is a pin far right, then it's just that we'll side. Just That's it. I'm checking out. Check. Off the ship. I thought I've had sex with a kid first. <laughs> You're not going to check out before now it's leaving. Oh, <laughs> the episode's done. The episode's done. <laughs>